to 12 o'clock in the street radio y'all know how we do it every wednesday man we got some real underground interviews every wednesday man and tonight i switched it up a little bit man instead of having some 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 artists some rappers some singles on here man it's been a lot going on in the city a lot going on in the streets so i bought some real generals in the building man just kind of start some dialect on like what's going on with the violence and and maybe we can politic brainstorm maybe somebody got an answer maybe somebody can call in phone lines are open y'all can call in if you're listening on the app tell a friend to get the app if you listen on the website therealunderground.com if you're looking on facebook live right now man hit that share button invite some people to watch man we got cam slate in the building you, you probably know him from uh seafood junkies but uh i brought him in because you know he well known in the southwest streets we got uh Rock the Don in the building, man. Well known guy. Y'all probably know him from like the the T-shirts and the touring company and all the other six jobs he got, man. But I know him from Young Halls, the the music and all that stuff. A real North Side general, you know what I'm saying? I've been fooling with that guy a long time. We got my guy Kia Neely in the building, you know what I'm saying? Y'all might know him. I've been seeing him lately on some uh, positive things on Facebook, you know what I'm saying? But I know him from way back in the day when I had the studio over on Fillmore type of shit, you know what I'm saying, so way back in the gap, you know what I'm saying, from the rap thing, a real west side general, we got in the building, man, so we ain't got all the sides represented in the building tonight, but we do got, and that was on accident, that wasn't was even on purpose, it was just like, like, who can I call up here just, you know what I'm saying, to, to politics tonight, you know what I'm saying, I said, Cam for show. Sure. then I said, I, I, I remember I went to uh, the uh, Stop the Violence thing, like, two, three weeks ago at Central, and they told me, uh, 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 my homegirl was like, I don't know what you're going for. This shit don't make no difference. I don't know what you're going for. But I went up there because the guy from Channel 4 invited me, and I was being showing some appreciation because he did the interview for the three-on-three -three thing. So he was like, come up to the Stop the Violence thing. So I went up there, and I was I went in thinking like, you know, she probably right. It, you know, this shit ain't going to make no difference. I'm just go. But what I walked away with from was like, it's a lot of people out there and a lot of resources out there that really do want to help. But it's just like the dots are not connecting. You feel what I'm saying? And what I walked away with from is like, the reason they not connecting is because all the people that was in there, they was either like older people, white people. You know what I'm saying? It, it wasn't the right, the right people. That, the people with the resources, but they ain't the right, the face of it. They need a different face. Right, right, right. right. It, ain't, it ain't the it same. Ain't, it's not. It's not the same. It won't be accepted. So yeah. that's that's why I was like, I was like, you know what I'm saying? Tonight it just it just popped in my head. I don't know. Maybe it was God. He was like, he said, I'm gonna just holler. You know what I'm saying? Some real, some some real people that might be. Uh, so good representation of uh, uh, the face right, of exactly. that, you know what I'm saying? I ain't saying it's a solution or we can come right. up with a solution, but I don't know. We're just going to start some dialogue right. on it, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and I'm first, I'm going to let y'all in introduce yourself formally. We can start with you, Cam. What up with it is Cam Slate, Mr. Southwest, Mr. PTC, all that and above, man. Hardworking man, just trying to shake something, man. What's good with it? Southwest, what up, Little Rock, the whole Arkansas. What's up? We finna put something together, man. You know it take a village to raise one. Huh. So we trying to put this village together for real, though, man. Yeah, yeah. Rock, rock. Introduce yourself. Yeah. It's Rock the Don, YHF, Young Hall family, you hear me? Just, I'm here trying to, you know, show my support for the kids out here, man, because they, they are playing with their life. They yes, playing sir. with their self with these guns. Yes, Everybody can't be tough. Everybody can't be <laughs> the Don or the yeah. King, the whatever you want to be, your Dracos and all that. I know cats that can't even buy themselves nothing to eat, but they got a Draco. <laughs> you can't even go to the dollar man, you hear me, and get you nothing to eat because you got a Draco. But, you know, Rock the Dunn, man, I don't know. You know I'm Rock the Dunn, you know what I'm saying, AK, Young Hall family, you hear me? It's all good, man. I'm here trying to show the support. Introduce yourself, fam. Uh, Keon Neely, uh, West Side representative. You know what we what we doing now is we flipping it. This is this is MOB. We got Master of Barber and Style. We doing barbershop. And we got the men on black businesses move going on right now right. as well. What we're trying to do is get these young men to believe in themselves because what they're doing is they're forgetting a 
about who they are. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, that's our job to do. You know what I mean? And, you know, sometimes uh, dudes like us, we get a little fed up. You know what I'm saying? With the younger cats that's going. Just like you said, man. I, I got the same cats over there, too. <laughs> with the Dracos, but let me get $5. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's, it's very disturbing what's going on right now. It's, 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 it's definitely a subject matter that, that has to be addressed. You know what I mean? I can dig it. I can dig it. So, like, so, so just to dive into the thing, man. They say you can't find a, a solution without identifying the problem. Right. So I'm gonna ask each one of y'all, like, what do y'all think the, the problem is from y'all perspective? I believe it's kind of what you said, that gap in between the olders and the youth. And that's really what the biggest challenge is. Like you said, because it's a lot of resources in play, because I've been a part of, like, resources. And I, I see, like, all the older ones who then came wealthy or then came out the hood or so, sometimes they don't give back enough or they in it for the wrong reason. Me just being working at Pulaski Tech, I seen a bunch of fake shit. Like, and it made me leave up out of there, but at the same time, the knowledge I seen, you like, picked up. You like, like the, the, it's a gap. Like, mm -hmm. the older generation yeah. don't understand. And like, yeah, even with gap. my story, I, like, gap. I didn't get it at first. Like, when I went to Pulaski Tech a couple years ago, I'm in the program, shout out to Kareem Moody. They used to try to get me in it, but I wasn't fucking with them. Yeah. So, but, He's like, he said he knew one of my old, old homeboys, Mario Devin. I'm like, damn, you know Big Cuz? Yeah. I, he ended up calling me from, I'm like, man, this nigga say he know you to work at school. He be in a suit trying to, he like, man, <laughs> he like, holler at him and do real. Right. And since I holler at dude seven years later, dude that took me around the country, he elevated me, put me in a room with millionaires and shit like that. But I ain't get it at first because yeah. that gap was still there. I ain't, he was in a suit and I'm a street nigga just, Delivered. I was in there to get a check. Yeah, yeah. yeah. my bread. I'm but dude like, man, Dude, been uh, he been in the U. He been doing his thing since we was kids, man. He really, he real. Yeah. So I fuck with him, man. Okay. Like, dude, been a real G, like a blessing to me, like for real. Yeah. And it's just because somebody told me, like, okay, go on, listen to dude. But if it wasn't for dude vouching for him from the street, it was a cosign. Yeah. yeah. And that's the that's what the gap is now. Like yeah. a lot of it ain't connected. Yeah. It it ain't. It, it's a disconnect somewhere. So that's your that's your your problem to to what's going on. Yeah, well, it's a couple of them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's a, we can talk all day about it, but yeah. that's one of the biggest ones with what's in play with far as like the organizations and the programs and the things available because we ain't really got you like programs and things like it was back in the day even though the 90s was here it was people to come out to the streets and was trying to come save folks right. they ain't coming out them offices no more right. they ain't even hiring nobody to come out their office right. they gonna call their cousin kids and everybody else kid gonna bring them to our program so we get this grant money but this thing though when I was at the, at the Stop the Violence thing and Rock was there it was so many people in there that had programs. Yeah. It's yeah. a lot of different programs. Lot see, of. see, this is this the thing, though. See, this 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 is what we have to do. We have to we have to focus on the primary, the real problem is where the children spending most of their time at. Mm -hmm. It's at home. Yeah. See, these women. I, I'm I'm not, not women bashing. I was raised by all women. You know what I'm saying? I'm married. Been married for 17 years. Got daughters. And and, and but. You, you you have to stop sugarcoating with these little boys. That was the problem with me. Right. My mama let me get away with murder. Right. You know what I'm saying? So when you, baby. Yeah, you, you see what yeah. I'm saying? So when, when you try to apply that same mentality to the streets where rules and regulations are there, right. because you done lost focus at home, there's no balance. Right. You, you, there's no accountability. Right, right. You don't have to be responsible because right. that's my baby. Don't worry about it. No, nah, but you, we have to stay on them little boys. Yeah. That's the problem. It's not them. We got it, like right. like you saying, the mentor right. got to be there, right. but they gap. You know what I'm saying? We, the, our delivery have to be a hell of a right. lot better than the, the, right. than the delivery that the right. guys tried to give us back in our days. Yeah. The delivery right. has to be different. We really from the right. streets. Right. See, they can we they can grasp where we where we coming from, but man, it's ten hours of the day they at home. Right. It's it's ten hours right. of, of the day they at home and have to deal with this with this. I'm balanced home. Right, right. Because the mom trying to do them both. Right. So, so the home. Right. And then home, that's, that's number one. Home that's number home. one. That's number one. Because the woman is trying to, like all of us, nine times out of ten, it was mama. Right. You know what I mean? So she can't balance them both. Because right. yeah. a mama is a comforter. Mm -hmm. She'll never be able to, to, to be able to discipline you right. how your father right. going to do. Yeah. You know how, you know, it, it took, it was three years. I was in the feds three years. And it still worked with, don't make me call your daddy. <laughs> that shit worked for three years. <laughs> so you got to understand the, the, the mental impact that it has in there when your father right. in there, and as opposed to when he's not in there. Right. Yeah. See, that, that's where it comes in, that the woman, and she overcompensates that two-parenting thing. Right, yeah. She overcompensates with being too nice. Yeah. The J's for nothing. 
<laughs> the games for nothing when he's still making C's and D's in yeah, school. Right. You fucking him up. Yeah. You yeah. fucking him up. He, he don't have to be accountable or responsible right. for nothing. What about the kids that don't got the mama and the daddy? But see, that, that's the same thing. Don't have that? Don't have neither one. But see, those are the ones. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that's, the, that's the same thing, though. At home, home right. shouldn't just be the house. Because I can remember growing up, well, my neighbor was like, boy, if y'all don't, uh, y'all don't cut this shit out, uh, I'm going to tell your mom when you, you feel me. Cut like, the whole block going to watch oh, out for you or get on your ass. ass. Now, now, now block you don't even want to get on your ass. The whole block going to watch your ass. Boy, I ain't cocky. They gonna tell your mama I had to whoop his ass early. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, you know that now. They ain't like, I ain't fucking with the bad kids. That's how they is. You whoop them and try to discipline. They mama wanna put it on Facebook when she come to whoop your ass. You know what I'm saying? They gang bang with all these kids. Baby raising, baby raising babies. That shit. But then when this nigga go out here and catch the hundred motherfucking years. You know what I'm saying? She crying. My baby ain't never did nothing. Oh, yeah, that's right. Just was on Facebook last week, stabbing and fighting in the hood. Now, that's another thing. But now he locked up because he went around and got caught with a gun or shot and killed somebody. Now he ain't, he was a... He was, a, he was an innocent child. Innocent he, child. He, he, he never, never did nothing. Not. He never you know what I'm saying? My son ain't he never did nothing. That's, that's yeah. what I was talking to an a, a, a older lady friend of mine the other day. You know what I'm yeah. saying? When I was talking about, uh, she was talking about the moms again. Because, you know, my thing is it starts at the house. Now, you seeing this little boy with this pistol on him. You seeing this little boy talking about busting somebody in their ass. You watching them on Facebook. Yeah. You, you condoning the bullshit. Yeah. So don't be on no... I don't understand what's going on out here, man. You a part of you. You a part of the part biggest, of the problem. You, man. What like ninety percent of the problem? Yeah. Because you, he didn't lost respect for you. That's mm -hmm. where it comes in with the overcompensating of yeah. the parenting because mm -hmm. they trying to be friends. Or I, I, yeah. I, I'll be your oh, friend later. Right. I'll be your friend <laughs> later when you didn't graduate. Now I can be cool with you because you didn't did everything that I asked you to yeah. do. Be your friend but, when yeah. he's twenty one. You see right. what I'm saying? Right. When he didn't made it to a grown man status. That's what I'm when talking you about. Boy, I'll wait till you. 21 years old, that's about a lot. And let you, you stay in my house over right. 20 years, yeah, you're still you a little boy. Yeah. If you stay in my house and you're 40, you're you still, still a little boy. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know some grown ass 43 yeah, years old. And they stayed with their mom. Kids yeah. that's 43 years old, man. So, what's, so, Rob, what do you think, the, from your perspective, what, what's the problem? What, I, I, what we were just saying? And more. Mm -hmm. That's the base of it. That's yeah. just the base. Yeah, the the system Facebook. got a big part of it. Yeah, the Facebook system. and Instagram oh and all that. Like oh. I say, everybody got a Draco. Mm -hmm. I know a little cat, one of the little, a little cat, he came by the shop. Like, Rob, man, I love the shirt, this and this, this. So we chopping up. I see him, right? I know him from the north. He ain't he had no money. I gave him $5. Mm -hmm. But he pulled up. He had a $1,000 gun on him. $1,000 Draco. And probably about two weeks later, he was just hungry. Mm -hmm. Now he got two capital murder charges, and some he got a whole bunch of charges. Cause he, he got no coming back. Right, he coming back. But home. he kept that gun, what he could have sold mm -hmm. for seven, eight hundred, five hundred dollars. Got him something to eat, and then been working. I went to McDonald's and work. I was trying to tell him that. Okay, but yeah, when he got now, he got life. I mean, if, if, and, and, if, and, if you're in that life, and, and if you're in that life, fucking Sarah Drake, go get you a sack. Right. Yeah, go yeah. get a sack. Go get a sack. Right. Well, see, ain't nobody yeah. telling me. Yeah. Yeah. Giving them the game. A lot of we, we, we are, though, bro. We, we are. Give them the game. Yeah. Yeah. They, they it don't just, listen to the game. They get, watch the game from Instagram, Facebook. That's Everybody want to be something they, they not listening to. A lot of them don't come from, like, it is. It's fucked up. It's like a microwave generation. They watch shit happen. Instagram. We just talking about that. And they really just talking about they get be getting money like this. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They don't want to hustle. Hey, right. so yeah, I'm going to say this. It, everybody, all these boys that say they got these Dracos and hunting around, they doing all this shooting on these rap songs. Mm -hmm. They need to be in a rat. Mm -hmm. that, uh, what they doing that at? Right. Uh, you just <laughs> get all these boys in one day. So you still, you still, tomorrow you still rapping. So let me ask you do. Let me ask how it is. And this was a question that was down on my list of questions, but I'm going to just bring it to the top. Okay. Do y'all think that rap music and movies... Oh, yeah. Playing a part, hey, but, but excuse me, no, but ahead. but you gotta see, you got we, we want to go to like we say, we gonna go to the base of it. Now we 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 living in a time that people forgot that it's called a program. That we 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 didn't even that, even back in the days that the uh the uh the national anthem came on mm -hmm. and tele after uh, Johnny Carson television off. was done. Yeah, it was done. But see now. It's, it's, it's propagandizing, it's selling uh, infomercials. It's all about bread. And see, if you don't dumb down what we got going on with the community, the only yeah. thing they look, they're not going to be continuously showing dudes yeah. like uh, Talib Kweli and those type of guys. They're not going to, they're calming them. Like Jay said, 
I, I used to rap like Common Sense till I made five mil. I ain't been rapping like Common Sense. Because <laughs> he's not going to rap. Because they not, they not yeah. going to. Hey, Pac did for that. Pac, Biggie. Because the, back to the television, what we saying, the propaganda rising. If they knew that they could put a black strong leader in front of us, they knew. They, they can bring us together. Yeah. Pac was bringing the Crips together. East Co- <laughs> so, so you saying the issue is... is I ain't right. saying that no, the people that are all Illuminati out of shit, but the, the, the powers that be, right. uh, 100%. But the powers that be is basically programming. The, I really think like the rap game is a new dope game. Because everybody it's thinks they it. can do it's it. Been it. Yeah. Like niggas don't even want to got no plans in high school no more. They just mm. want to rap. Mm-hmm. Right. Like, and a lot of niggas don't even think about behind the scenes of rapping. Right. Like, the bread that's got to come in. Yeah. Be, like, it's fucking the kids up to, like, could you consume so much of you believe in this shit. You want this shit. You want to be like that shit. Mm-hmm. That's the dope game. But see, this this the thing, though. That's back to the point of this machine that's continuously eating up our kids. Oh, yeah. it's, 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 if they don't do that, if they don't propagandize uh, the, the women, the cars, the jewelry, if they don't do that, those kids know they're not going to be able to get this shit. So they, 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 they have to resort to taking it. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. It used to be taking and robbing just to eat. Right. Now it's taking and robbing too. Like he said, let's we go back for the Facebook, for the gram. Everybody wants to be the man. You know and when you know. broke and don't have nothing, we, 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 we came from the struggle. Right. We actually came from the projects. You see what I'm saying? Like seriously. Yeah. These dudes are trying to skip levels, man. Everybody want to be the man one way or the other. He want to have a thousand record companies and a thousand t-shirt builders everywhere. You want to be in, in everybody want to be the man. But see, they broke. And the only way to be the man is to bust you in your so, ass. So tell me this. Is that the definition of sell your soul? No. It's just a lot of shit that you been made. You selling out? You selling out? It's, but it's just, it's the new era it's, it's, of what been made. Finessing is cool now. You I think the ones that... Niggas used to come up missing for some finesse. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, and everybody <laughs> yeah. come out like That's the new hustle. And, like, Skipping levels. That ain't what I like, hustle. Nobody wants to hustle. It's, it's, Skipping levels. It's, Skipping it's, levels. It's, it's like the shit we had to work hard to get to. <laughs> we spent hey, we, the, we, the reason, we the reason they can run around and do all this. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's why we got to come back now and right, talk to these cats now. Because we, we the reason they can throw up their sign Science, wherever you from. Right. West Little right. Rock, North Little Rock, right, Southwest, cool. whatever you from. Now, you remember Bloods you know didn't even come to, yeah, to, to North Little Rock. I was the Rock. only Blood ever. Come to North Rock. Ever. 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 I'm where I'm ever. Ever. I'm a home. Back ever. in the day. This is 90s, though. It's 90s. People in North Little Rock weren't wearing no red. They were wearing with T.A. Them kind of dudes was wearing red, bro, because we had our own minds. You see what I'm saying? I stay in Eastgate, man. You can walk to Sittos. When no bloods, that's when people, our concepts were still kind of right, fucked up. Yeah, right. Black and red, I mean, black yeah. and blue. And red, you know how it was back then. We all know about that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I stayed in them, bro. Yeah. It, it, that's what I'm saying. It's, it's about us people getting our shit back where we need to be. You know what I'm saying? Because we didn't have to, we didn't skip levels. Yeah. We didn't. We actually fought. We actually, nigga, you can't serve over here. We actually got choked out by the police. We've been shot. I'm, this is on the block. We ain't even talking about what the system did. Yeah. We just talking about the block right now. These dudes don't understand that part. Because if they did, they wouldn't be wanting to do that shit. So so check this out. Since banging, you had, the, ever since banging in Little Rock, all the mm-hmm. way to now, mm-hmm. how many years that is, 20, 30 years, mm-hmm. still kind of fucked up. And lately, it's been real fucked up, like in the last couple of weeks, you know what right. I'm saying? So, it's been that fucked up in 20 years, ain't nobody thought of, it ain't no, no solution that came well, along. It has been years. good spurts, but it just Great so spurts, much uh, man, be, uh, it's really so much uh, happening. Yeah, like, it's, it's, it's so been much good. Uh, it's so much uh, happening right now, like that you are missing, like because I remember shit. I was coming out the streets two thousand eight nine, and the only reason I left the streets, I was like four five my little homeboy. They died back to back three four months, and I was had a case. I'm like, damn, my judge, my lawyer, like, man, you are gonna have to go to school or something, do something. But once I got in that school yeah, system, I, I hooked up with Moody, though. Like, he put me on a whole nother level, man. Like, I was a convicted fella, man. I ended up being a student body president of Plastic Tech. And I got a scholarship they named after me. But at the same time, I was that nigga who didn't give a fuck in these streets. Right. And it was fucked up. But I was a product in my environment. When I got in a different environment, I was a product of that environment. Right. I seen... A lot of people ain't exposed to it. Right. So if you ain't exposed to it, you can't see it, you can't achieve it. You you can't achieve it. You You can't see it, you can't achieve it. You can't get it. But it's happening every day out there. I know niggas like million dollar beats on the golf course. Mm -hmm. Like, 
and smoking good weed and some more shit. Right. But we only see it once type of way a nigga in a suit back in the day. You say he had his church clothes on. Man, we right. yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You were driving this right. right. What you saw is what you had in life as a man. You got to know, man. You got to grow to become a man, man, to right. be out here to for real have something in life. And it really ain't no excuse. I've been hustling. Everybody know me. I've been hustling all my life. He didn't. These young cats now, they don't want to hustle. They want to take. They want to break in folks out. They want to rob the man that got to work and this and that. That's all it's about now. It ain't about no real shit. Like he was saying, back in the banging, back in the shooting and shit they not shooting for what we were shooting for back then yeah. we what they they what, what we were shooting for is like he said to give y'all the right to be able to throw what y'all throwing up now yeah. we out. did that then yeah. we was establishing cause there wasn't no gangs before us yeah. it was the pimps and shit before us yeah. in Little Rock yeah. wasn't no what that shit wasn't popping before our era yeah. the 40 year old era yeah. wasn't no bloods and shit you had the GMP and you know, the yeah. gates and all yeah. that. Everybody had their projects in the neighborhood, but I'm talking about banging. Yeah. That's our era. Yeah. See what I'm saying? We did that for them, but they not doing that shit that shit for them. Bro, they 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 do they doing That's it for that. if That's I Facebook you and it's tell you fuck you something. ain't your food. Fuck <laughs> you know, he gonna say some I'm you like, know what? Don't eat my food. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But the old him, he was like, Nigga, where the fuck you at? Nigga, <laughs> nigga pull up on pull up. See, but it's evolution. Right, right. We evolved. You see, they, it friend. ain't stopping. See, but the, like we said, they, they trying to skip. Yeah. They can't because they skipping they levels. Boosie yeah. fucked him up. They OGs when they twenty five. Yeah. Boosie fucked him up. Yeah, that's what really fucked him. Fucked him up. Like, that whole era of I don't being get that OGs and shit. Twenty five. I was going to the fans at twenty five, bro. Right. I mean, we was juveniles. We was juveniles in the state prison in the early nineties. Right. We was juveniles. No. No, I, I, I was 15. But guess what? What these boys yeah. say though? I tell them right now. All you, all these young cats are talking about they were balling. If you never lost a hundred thousand dollars in one day what? and then made it back the next day, yeah. you ain't had no money. Yeah. All that fun, y'all have money all over the place. Talking mm-hmm. about y'all this and that. Man, I was a million. I probably when I was 16 yeah. years old, I had seven cars. Houses, we got back and forth. We got a little money back then. Yeah, we was getting money. We had money. We had a little money back then. Money ain't got somewhere yeah. to be like yeah. tripping. Right. But you the same guy just seen. Just left the ass yeah. the bread. Or you come yeah. to the shop and talk about yeah. cigarettes. You want to, man, yeah. bro, give me a deal on the shop. If you got all this money laying out, nigga, you need to buy the shop. You need to buy the shop. Help me out. Go ahead for me. Nigga, have all that money down. Let the police take it. I ain't put no money up for no lawyer. Lawyer, you, your lawyer's supposed to be paid in advance. Oh, yeah. You ain't got no bud money. Def, no. Your family stressing. And they they gonna, get killed. So, so they ain't got no. So, 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 so as far as like the guidance, a while ago you said they. It's like they need the guys, they need the OGs, but at the same time they don't want to listen. Okay, but, but uh, let me rephrase. Let me ref, let me let me ref, let me reframe, rephrase that. I I I, I didn't want to say that they wouldn't listen. They are they are listening. Mm-hmm. They're not applying. What they, what they, what they. So how can we make them apply? Like we, we, the reason why we can't, we, the reason why we can't anymore, because he's not busting dudes in the ass no more. <laughs> he's not pistol whipping dudes and, and, and slanging bricks no more. So our influence is kind of lightened up yeah. now because that's why we saying okay. that dudes are skipping level because a soft ass nigga can come to and one of our neighborhoods and one of our neighborhoods with that bankroll. And the skip levels are already being a real motherfucker. Yeah. Right? Because he didn't yeah. gave him a little something. He gave him a little something. Who? who when people put food on your plate, it does kind of change your, right. your, 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 your... That's yeah. the big part about it. You need so like a lot that's of... That's what I'm saying. That's why they That's what I'm saying. That's my that's my point to that. We That's the reason why dudes like our influence can't do that anymore because if they hear about him in the streets again, he, he ain't coming back home. They hear about him... No, he ain't coming back home. I barely made it back home. You know what I'm saying? So the, the influence, is it, it can only go so far. It's, it can only go as, 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 as a verbal thing now. We can't be physical no more and be like, you know, snatching dudes up no more. The respect levels is just different now. Right. It's that completely different. It's not. They call the police. Put they the call, call the police. You know what I'm saying? That's their throwing your rock and your hand. The, the real G's, if somebody come to them on some real shit, now they're going to go to the police because they scared. They scared now. I got a rap. They mm-hmm. say something about some shooting. They can say, oh, yeah, we got to go pick him up. A dude might be this and that tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But I ain't, I'm not on I'm trying to help you. But when you try to talk to these young cats, they get crazy and get all out of their element with that so, tough guy. And that's what make you want to hurt them. But at the same time, I'm trying to save you. You just don't know in my heart. I'm trying to save you, bro. I'm trying to keep you from going out here and throwing your life away. Well, all of us could have threw our life away, but right. we got a second chance. My brother doing 20. He's been down 20 years. 
You know what I'm saying? Kingpin charge in the feds. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We were going, we had money, we were going through all that. But I'd rather have him back home, being with him, and then just making it than me out here Mediation. holding over right. everything, right. and then he's still locked up. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Look, three dead. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. Eating up dead. Right. All that. All them the folks that really love me and I care mm -hmm. about and I'll do anything for, they in the grave. Boy, I can't what? trust none of these. It's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a perpetual cycle, though. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's going to take them to, they homeboys to die and them to go yeah. through the pen. Let me be honest with you. To, to to reiterate on what he was saying about, see, our only connection was those young dudes like three and, e and your uh, younger guys yeah. and my younger guys. You know what I'm saying? Those are the only connections that we have right now. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. A direct connection. Mm -hmm. Those d my dudes, like he said, my brother got set. Dion got 75 years. You know what I'm saying? So my direct connection with my little brothers them is extinct because my other brother he he is over with. Be don't know nothing. So we we. I got other nephews and other homies that's doing that, uh -huh. but bro, it, that's where the connection stops now, because we can only go so far with uh -huh. what we saying and what we doing, because dudes are so fucking sensitive now. Uh -huh. yeah. You can't even tell these dudes yeah, shit. Ego problem. They got a fucking ego problem. You know how many times dude can pull up to my shop and like, low G, hey man, never have, but he know he can't. He, look, hey man, look, tighten up, bro. Them little dudes all hanging around in mind. I know the other dude right there. Keep them dudes away from around there. That's what. That's what. That's what's been lost. You, just like we were saying with the women, I want to whoop your ass now for telling me about what my child did. Yeah, yeah. That's the problem now. Dudes is they afraid to do that, but we still doing that though. Uh, yeah. You see what I'm saying? We still doing it, but it it it, it, it gets it gets so lost in the cross because of the connection. Cause you don't want to fuck right. nobody up for just telling you <laughs> your shoes untied. Yeah, that's I'm just trying to lace you up, bro. Yeah, it's real. I'm just they, they so sensitive now, bro. They so the ego, the, the ego. ego. It's all the about ego. the uh, don't fuck with me. Cause one thing. Every broke motherfucker in this society got in coming is their opinion. It's all they have. And they're they going to die for that shit. So what's yeah. the solution? The solution, I mean, each one teach one. You can only pull so many to it. Like right now, like we in a war. Like right now. good against evil. Like you can't you know, you know, you can tell your evil. people. You can try to help your people. But at the end of the day, if you can't help yourself, like you can only do so much for a person. Like at the end of the day, if you got kids and you got family, you got to take care of yours. But you got to get back. Try to get as many as you can. Everybody ain't going to listen. But mm -hmm. some of them gonna sit in the motherfucking penitentiary like, damn, I should have listened mm -hmm. to bro. But we all wanted to get like that, but they're just, at the that's time it. we in now, that's how you just gotta sell what it is. Yeah. But at the same time, you still gotta do your part. Everybody don't do their part though. Cause you got, you got cousins and shit that won't even go. They worse. No, no, one of their little fuck cousins fucked up in a bad situation. Go pick him up on weekends mm -hmm. or something, make him, you know what I'm saying? Just get him out. Take him to Mount Mel where all you motherfuckers moving to. Uh, Brian, what sure, everybody so moving to, you, you feel me? You would just, you, if you don't see it, you can't achieve it. You can't achieve it. Like, just show them something different. The nigga needs to start being some big homies, at least you one person, be. two people. It'll pick up. It'll pick up for that one or two, though. It'll pick up for that one. I think if, them, like, when you was at the Fox 16, you know what I'm saying? I think more if they open up the gap more and just having the stuff up there, and we got to go to the hood. We, right. Like I told the mayor, I told the mayor, I oh, said, Mark. man, you need to ride down on ass when they burn the rubber and all that. <laughs> you got to jump out, me and you. Right. You know what I'm saying? He said, what that's going to do? I said, because they going to look. They going to say, man, what the fuck? Why I'm going with the mayor. Right. You know what I'm saying? They're going to come over there. They're going to say, what's up now? Gonna say, what's up now? Yeah. Yeah. We got to give them that if they going to mm -hmm. come from up there. And that's what I was telling them. That's how we got to go where they at. We can't right. be meeting yeah. at Central and North Blue Rock High right. School. They ain't coming up there. Coming. Ain't nobody coming up there. Accountability. Man, we got to go to them. We got to go out there. The real OGs mm -hmm. and them folks up there that they can see, right, yeah. they care about. Them. They not because they think they gonna get busted. They come to the yeah, to the right, thing. They think something gonna happen in yeah. the boat. You know what I'm saying? I go up there with all them folks. Man, I ain't going to jail. That's the first thing. Ain't going up. They ain't going up. They ain't going up. They ain't going up. Them folks up there. Folks up there. Folks up there. Bro, you ain't saying no dope. You finna shoot nobody, right? You finna do nothing wrong. Good. Come on, man. I got you. We need to talk. You know what I'm saying? That's to me. That's what we gotta do. You know what I'm saying? We gotta go out. In the field, mm -hmm. we gotta be like the army. We gotta go out in the field. Right. We gotta go down in the trenches. Gotta we gotta go, go all down in there. We gotta be out there. Like I told them, we need to go on Asher. Right. Post up, talk to them folks. When they see something that they ain't never seen, that's what the mind do. Right. Like, damn, what's that, man? The nigga rock, kill, then cam them. They don't know what the man. The nation, the nation used to do that. They gonna walk over there. The nation is If they don't do nothing but ask questions, take pictures, put us on Instagram. That's 
That might be that five that's minutes they over there dealing with us. That's that it. We might stop a killing. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Or somebody run up down the street and had a wreck from showing out. You know what I'm saying? Damn, the so attention right. span with these kids now, they so crazy. Man. Man. They want to, everything new, they own it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything new, every day, they own it. They own that's why we got to give them something new so they can be on us. Mm -hmm. What we talking about? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We give them something. That's new. That's why I said it was hard for the connection because we not just out. He not in the dope house yeah. no more. Yeah. He not in the trap no more calling the shots. I'm not in the west over here in, on, on the, in the middle of Oak Street with Highland Park niggas coming, East End. So we had a, we had a plethora of individuals coming to get work from what we was dealing with because we learned to... Uh, 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 West side, network. south side. We knew how to network, network properly. You know what I'm saying? But that's another thing, though. You got dudes younger than him, younger than him, and younger than me. Don't know that how tight we are. Yeah. That's what the, that's what the beeps come in yeah. too, though. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If we knew that my little John John and his little Mike Mike had gotten to it, yeah, it's a phone call. Yeah. Quickly. Yeah. Yeah. But they so fucking emotional. Yeah. Yeah. They pants so tight. My pants tighten up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? My pants are tightened up a little bit. But I ain't, you know what I'm saying? You can't see, you can't read no, no the credit card. You can't read the credit card. So they so sensitive now, man. You know what I'm saying? Nobody yeah. wants to fight. Me and Duke have a fight. T today in the gates or wherever the fuck in, in, in the barracks somewhere we're gonna be drinking and smoking that night we had that fight <laughs> yeah that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying we be fighting like a motherfucker Man, two hours later <laughs> two, right back right, 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 right there you see what I'm saying that's my whole point too it's a different era if they if they fight now they they trying to kill each other. Oh, they killing. They, they kill no each fight. other. They don't know how to fight. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know how to fight. They, they got really great ready. goals. Yeah, <laughs> they got great fight goals. For what? Fight for what? Yeah. Yeah. Tony yeah. said, "Bro, I got money. Fight for what? Man, your pocket's fat, and you got a raggedy ass gun that ain't gonna do shit for real. Can't do it a hundred round here. Nigga, come do it a hundred round. You did. You did. Yeah. So we so so we like we in here talking right now. So to prevent us from being in here like. Talking into this show, she go back to normal. No, see, this is this is what we do. Like he said, this is the spark. This is what right. this is the spark. Yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? We we all didn't we didn't network yeah. on different things before. So they it's, watching. They oh, yeah. watching. Oh, yeah. They watching us. Oh, everybody on there. They watching. Oh, yeah. It's gonna be a lot of people that hate and say they don't because yeah. we all done did things in our past that 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 will uh, stop. Somebody from thinking positive about right, us, right, yeah. regardless. Yeah, I must right. change what we did, yeah. regardless yeah. of what we did. Bro, because you know what? You fuck their nephew yeah. off, you yeah. fuck their brother yeah. off, I fuck their husband yeah. off. Yeah. It happens in the streets. They, like we say, yeah. oh my baby ain't never did nothing. Oh, <laughs> yeah, hey, you seen him walk out with that pistol? He wasn't walking out just to protect himself. Yeah. Man, folks, it's going out, it's going down out here, and people tend to forget. No one's innocent out here. Right. You know what's an innocent bystander? If one of our home, if we barbecue and we all from the hood, one of the homeboys make it. He go out, go to Arkansas, he getting signed this summer to go to the NFL. If he come back to one of our barbecues and get killed, <laughs> That's that bystander. Negro is an innocent bystander. <laughs> Not 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 the homeboy who's selling weed in the hood, but he repping on Facebook, yeah. Instagram. But he ain't out with us. Yeah, yeah. We ain't we are busting heads and doing our yeah, thing. Yeah. He not out with us, but he repping what still we repping, bro. It. He is not a fucking innocent yeah, bystander. He's, still in it. he's not. By law, he's a gangster. Yeah. And I'm coming to see you because yeah. you're the most vocal one on this fucking social network. Yeah. Uh, we ain't talking. Affiliation. Uh, man, that gets you quicker than anything else. Yeah. I think another key too, man. We accountability, but we gotta hold like the. The government, the city, like they got a yeah. lot of funding and different things, yeah. and like we got to what y'all doing with that money? What type of We're teachers y'all putting program. out? Cause yeah. they put these bullshit <laughs> teachers in the school nowadays. A lot of these teachers ain't got to be that certified. They got a, I can't think of the program right now. They but if you take, but if so you take like, like so many hours, they classify you as just teacher, and they let you work in these high schools and, and oh, man, I know so we, you know, the probably. kids now taking advantage of them in school. Man, so I ain't said, nothing being learned. I know a lady friend up. To digress, you go right back now because I'm gonna stay on the point. I know, I know a lady friend from my wife, man. You know, I ain't gonna put you, but bro, falsify the documents, falsify everything, it's, and she teaching, she teaching it how it's so many of She teaching it how, bro. <laughs> bro you know, man, I know a professor right now, I just shot his name because he's so sorry, but the dude been giving the same work for like. Six years. I ain't gonna lie. I put out my little niggas who first come to school. Mm -hmm. Hey, go take a couple dude classes to get your GPA up to right. make you feel comfortable. Right. Cause he ain't gonna teach shit. Right. Yeah. Which is a fucked up part of it. But if y'all playing, we gonna play too. We gonna right. get this check and let y'all right. get y'all check. But, Matter of fact, give but, us some scholarships. But see, the, the, the whole thing is the whole the, the whole thing starts there though. 
you know, in the, in the school system and at home. And at home, the school is almost like home. It is, but they they oh, put yeah, too, they but they too putting too much, too much responsibility no, back no, on the parent. Yeah. No, no. Well, you got dropped off at school, man. You got dropped off at school. They go have I you. remember back in the days, you had to get a permission slip to get pallings <laughs> or not. That's the that's what I before I went to private school. You had to get a permission slip for the for the pallings, man. You got paddle. See what I'm saying? Now they want to call. Don't call me with my son and disrupt the class, man. Don't call <laughs> me with my son. Don't do that. That's your job. That's your job. Don't do that. But see, but, but that's their job, though. See, that's where it comes in with the school to prison pipeline. Right. See, people mm. tend to forget this whole dialogue it's, is, it's, about, it's about prison. Everything we talking about goes, all of them. It could be 50 fucking right. different roles. All of them lead to prison. Right. You see what I'm saying? The lack of the home, tr the home training. The lack of the peer right. mentoring, the lack of us helping, the lack of them listening, the lack of education, the lack of economic uh, equality, bro, it's gonna this that's that's what lead it, to prison. Man, I'm it's trying to tell you. Pipeline. Like, they, they the pipeline, they they raising them. The crazy part is this right here. Check it out. Crime rate going down, bro. Crime rate going down. United States is number one incarcerated in the world. Arkansas. Number one incarcerated in the United States. Arkansas? Yeah. Oh, Big man. That's all I do is numbers. I don't go in there when I talk to them kids talking about, yeah, I've been to the pen. I've been shot. And then, no, 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 no. That ain't it's what real. you do. You let them know some real shit. Because they uncle them been shot. They dad them in the pen. The fuck that mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so what you do is you want to you wanna let them know. Man, look. Crime rate going down dramatically. See what I'm saying? They make they. That's why they dramatizing so much violence now because there's not that much going on now. Mm -hmm. That's why they dramatizing it now. They they they, they, they publicizing it so much now. Arkansas is the number one incarcerator of juveniles. You see what I'm saying? N juveniles. You know, there's only 400, about roughly 400 million people in this motherfucker. Yeah. Number one incarcerator in the world, my nigga. Arkansas. Yeah. It's real. Arkansas. But the, but, that slavery. but the. But the. But the crime rate is going down. See what you get. What, what people fin tend to forget is, when they released them four million slaves, bro, they, they, they was they was going broke. Yeah. It wasn't nobody to man these fields no more. Yeah. You spit on the concrete, two years in prison. Everything I'm telling you, you do this shit. I love Google. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He's your best friend. Yeah. Two years in prison, spit. Uh uh uh. Look at a white woman. They damn near want to hang you. They had to give you any type of reason to send you back to prison to go with them fields. We still number one in rice, cotton, or uh, uh, soybean, and all the rest of it. You in prison, bro. You eating what you slaughter. You eating what you pick. And that cotton that you got is on your, back. Right on your back. It's on your back. So, yeah, you just went deeper into it, it the whole. Get deeper. It See, I didn't want to do that. Because, because, no, no. Yeah, that's what, you know what I'm saying? The whole, the, whole, the, whole, the whole thing is directed at your son and his son. And my, our daughters are cool. Yeah. They love our women. Yeah, they they love our women. They love them. See, they, they can make it. She ain't no threat. See, never. Never. See, see, what I can do is, I can dilute you by putting my Caucasian blood in you. But see, you can't do it with a with an African American. You can't do it with an African. No matter what you put in, they're going to come out of Negro. Yeah. yeah. No yeah. matter what you put in them. But that's not, that's not that's that great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they want to jump there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why they want to jump there. But see, the, the, the core problem is, you got to think. And the, when they first start going to school, the first thing they start doing is giving them what? When you fuck up? A behavior document. They document your behavior. You see what I'm saying? You can look this up when you get some time as well. By the fifth grade, this is how they do their numbers. Yeah. This is how they do their numbers with our kids. By the check it out. By the fifth grade, they know how many prisons to build and they know how many motherfuckers gonna be. I, I read that somewhere. By the yeah. fifth grade, yeah. yeah this is all it. I do. This is all I do. By the fifth grade, they know. By our kids, man, it's cash crop. That's why I'm, I'm, I'm getting into this rehabilitation thing. See, see, y'all ain't worth shit no more. We us we being locked up. We just forty four thousand dollars a year. Yeah. Your son worked one hundred and eighteen thousand dollars a year, hmm. locked yeah. up, locked up. And the first thing they do is what? Take your right to own the gun. That way they come in there and kick your door and slap you up and take all your shit. How they how they want to? But they give you a right to do everything else. The vote. Well, you still do that on parole now. But see, that's the, that's what they demasculate. They they feminizing us. The whole thing. This whole thing, man. This vibes what they don't know, man. I hate it. Because we was we was some of the, the one of the masters of this shit. Yeah, we was some masters right. of it. And I hate it. That's why it's our job right. to fucking fix it. Right. Because you know when you finally get what's going on, it, it fucks you up. It hurts you. It hurts you. Like they've been playing a it game hurts. with you the it whole time. It fucked me over, man. Like and it's, it it's systematically. So so if if you so with that being uh, the root root of what's going on, if you can educate the next person 
the next young nigga mm-hmm. on what's going on, mm-hmm. do you think that would make a difference? No, you gotta don't. take a, you gotta take your time with that. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's all right, you see, I'm hey, yeah. first you gotta get them on the right side first. And like, man, you but see you gotta start young though. Yeah, how they you got, got us to. when we was young? Yeah. How the older dudes got us when we was young? Right. You gotta get not when he was 14. He knew he wanted to have bricks. Yeah. You know that? When he was 14, when he was 14, he knew he wanted to be the boss over there. Yeah. When I was 14, we was getting money. I was on my way to prison. But, you know what I'm saying? I knew what I wanted. You got to start way earlier than that. Yeah. Way earlier. I'm talking about a lot earlier, man, because number one, we start being t- Where well, the women fuck up, and the back to that, uh, you know you're the man of the house. Now, you the man of the house. Yeah, you, you my baby. You my big baby. Now, once you start, all of us went through it. I'm the oldest son. Now, once you start doing it, you start getting this 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 whole big, right. uh, this is my shit. Yeah. Now, once he get to tell you, hey, go do that. I ain't going to do that. And I, it, that. That's where it begins at. Now, he going to take that same motherfucking mentality out here with, these, with his whole system. I ain't going to say no crackers, but the way the system was designed was to fuck you over. Because right. it ain't no color on ignorance. They, right. they, 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 they bank it on ignorance. They banking on ignorance because we stop selling dope. Us as when right. I mean us, us as a whole as a community, no DEA, no FBI, no no nothing. You, you they can stop everything, man. They just want got Tom Brady jersey, but you mean to tell me they can't stop <laughs> bricks from coming in this <laughs> motherfucker? Yeah, they can't stop our little niggas from doing for three yeah. hundred. They can't stop. I know. They can't stop grenades. They can't stop this shit coming in the city, bro. You gotta understand that it's systematically being bad. played. That it, without us, just like back in the days, without slavery, everything crashed. The North was going broke yeah. because they had to pay. Yeah, the South was paying anybody. When they go. when they when they freed when they freed when the North North came to fight for us, yeah. us as black was that was the propaganda. They weren't fighting to free us. You see what I'm saying? Right. We weren't people. We was l- labeled as livestock. You see what I'm saying? But you know, like I know, that's why the census is so important. They do the numbers. That way the government funds are distributed. Right. You get such su- right. uh, such such a ma- amount of electoral votes. Right. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, you a slave owner, my guy. You got 90 slaves on your shit. You got 100. You got 100. I got 100 plus my family. That's like 500 votes right. in between these four plantations. Right. The North like... Oh no, motherfucker! Y'all said these niggas is cattle. They livestock. <laughs> we not counting them because, like I said, back to the numbers. With the ch- we get a lot of money right. for how many motherfuckers not right. counting and shit. Still do that now. They with do the penitentiary. Exactly. Now this right. is the origin of it. You see what I'm saying? Now they come down and they gonna fight. We are gonna take this shit because no we're, we're livestock. I think they were saying we one fifth of a million. Yeah, one some shit like one that. Four. So now they going broke, bro. They we funding all type of wars coming up out the south because these niggas ain't paying. We ain't paying these niggas for nothing. They in recession. Up north, up. they dying, they dying on the streets. Nice. So now we gonna we, we gonna do is free these motherfuckers. They gotta do some shit. They gonna either let these die, we split this money up correctly, or, or free these motherfuckers. That's the only reason why they came and got us, bro. They wanted to help us out. They wanted it wasn't a, it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't it wasn't nothing about that. You funded one side, not funded one side, but we first got the, we got the same last night, <laughs> same last night. Yeah. Same last night. Yeah. It's propaganda, man, and it's all designed to work off your back. They still doing it, and it's still going on. It was just three, four hundred years ago. Hey, so <laughs> why people think that was a uh, a million? Years. Man, that was yesterday. So if I'm in power three hundred years ago, I'm gonna leave that shit in power to my no, son. Great, great grandma. Yeah, my nephew. You know what I'm saying? Come on, bro. You got to think about it. If you uh-huh. own, if you own the uh, FDA, you oh, own it. The... Go ahead. You own the USDA. You own the court system, cool. and I'm with the hospitals and shit. You know what I'm saying? He gonna continuously pass this motherfucking cancerous ass meat. You only know it got uh 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 what's that shit called? Uh with the chicken shit. Chamalana. And that fucking beef shit. You only know that until you go to the hospital and be about to die. Yeah. Dude already passed it and let it go through though. Who did? The USDA. Department who passed the meat through? The people who passed the stamp the meat to get through the Yeah. Yeah. Th- these all these people are in, this, on, in, yeah, the, yeah. in the same heads. So he owned the meat company, all his livestock and shit. No matter how much it's fucking up the earth, he owned the pills and the shit like that. Now, first it starts off with you passing the law, let this shit go through. Yeah. Now you passing the law. How you gonna pass the law against your brother? You're not gonna strike this shit down. Yeah. Let this meat go through. That's the only way we knew about fucking Lyme disease and all the rest of this all other shit that you <coughs> eat meat. Excuse me, not Lyme disease, but all this other dumbass salmonella, yeah. beef shit. They only knew it because you passed it to go through. Now, you got me sick. 
even if it do pass through and I'm not sick, you got me sick, I'm fucking up. I got to go see the doctor. The doctor going to tell you, you can either change your diet or you can get on these pills. So now you just sent them to the dope man, which is me, the pharmaceutical. Yeah. It's one big ass circle. It go from you passing the meat, he the meat, you the, you passing it. The meat come to him. Hospital because you fucking sick because you're eating this shit. Send me through the motherfucker to give me some shit. Now I'm on insurance. It's one big circle. It's one big circle. That's why they were so fucking mad about Obama with this Obamacare. He was fucking some shit up. Mm-hmm. Fucking it up. It, 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 starts, it starts there, man. We have to wake our boys up, clear, uh, uh, shorten this gap, and let them know that you are still enemy number one. You still enemy number one. We forgetting that the women, the women, the women was fighting the, the cause harder than us. You know what I'm saying? But once they start to fight for women's rights, to get their rights to vote in the 50s and 60s, we lost momentum. Every woman, with, every woman, every strong woman we had with the, the, the Panther movement, it was always a black woman. Yeah. It was always the ones. Well, uh, the hood and, and, and the goddamn uh, the wick. All this shit started from the, the uh, next house. You can't have a man in the house now. So it's designed to no. separate no, you. Don't want a man. It's designed to separate you. Can't you no you got to think about this. We didn't vote Democrat. We never did. The, the Democrats, they do it now because they know the Negro are going to get that vote. Right. They know it because we're giving you food stamps. We giving you this. We giving you that. That's why when the Democrats saying they go to the sur- they go in the surplus, but when the Republican is, they go broke. The country go broke. You know why? Because they loan and rock that hundred thousand dollars for their bank loan. They loaning you. Yeah, it's yeah, not their fault that, that, that you didn't pay it back. Mm-hmm. They passing that money out because as long as we got business owners, we got more taxes. Mm-hmm. That's why the Democrats the getting. Yes, the and Democrats the ain't passing out shit. It's That's good. why they stay in the surplus. Back to the Negro because they know they ain't got to worry about us because we gonna vote for them anyway. So 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 check this out. If you had, if you had a motherfucking genie lamp, a million dollars, whatever it take, and you can tomorrow wake up and put forth some type of solution, what would Joe? What would you do? What would what would you go out tomorrow and do? Like you talked about, I'll get the mayor. I go, go, go buy law and segregators again. We had more. We had these. You right? Desegregation fucked us up. We had more business owners. A hundred years ago, than we have right now, oh, black no. business owners. Right well, now, we stuck together. So right now, everything, look at the Mexicans. Even, 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 even Martin Luther King said, "I don't know what the fuck I done did. I done fucked up." <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't, I, bro, we was better segregated. Keep they, dem- not they, keep uh, people's others' uh, state of thinking and and a sick ass mind that 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 uh, I'm, I'm better than you. Black man never thought we 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 know we are, but we never expressed it physically, uh, 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 verbally, or, uh, or none of that. Desegregation is what I, I will erase and segregate us, keep us in our own schools, keep my daughter and my son from being exposed to fuckery. You know what I'm saying? And 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 and, and I ain't just talking about white. Explain your history. Right, yeah, uh, I want my history. Your history. That's what I want. The history of the yeah. world. You gotta so I really come from. Yeah, that's black, well, yeah. black people. We didn't just jump off a boat. That's uh, what we have to. That's what these young cats don't know now. Twenty. If you, if they twenty years old. They don't know nothing about the struggle. They don't know nothing about no. the projects. A lot of the projects been towed down for 20 years. For real. They don't know that. You <laughs> know what I'm saying? They can only go by. Project. Yeah, they can't understand that. You know, it's same, these same people like me and him and, and Cam, and we all come from these projects. Our mama yeah. was poor. Right. They ain't yeah. have real. shit. You real. know what I'm saying? We got up off our ass because we, guess what? We didn't want to be broke. Mm-hmm. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Just like on Blow when he said, Dad, I don't never want to be broke. I told my mama the same thing. I ain't want to be broke. We around the station like we were broke. You know what I'm saying? Coming out the projects, I'm like, man, I ain't. Sh- when I get old, I'm finna get some money. I'm gonna live. That's what I'm finna do. I'm not finna be playing. They don't get it. They mama give them everything. They they get everything. Back to the house. If, if they can feel, if they can make, if they can get all what they want, they don't gotta work for nothing. So then when they get out there trying to work for something, they don't know how to work because they never worked for nothing. Yeah. You see Walk what I'm saying? So how could you work for something that you never had to work for? If your mama getting, like you say, Jordans and this and that, games and all this, my son ain't this, 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 that. But then when he go out there and get in some trouble, now she asking on everybody to do this and help him because he never did. But you didn't gave him everything. He didn't know nothing because the streets is real. They don't understand the streets is real. It's real in these streets. Streets is real. If you out here for real, something bad gonna happen to you. I ain't, no, I ain't never heard nothing good happen in the they streets. They know this though, but they take these risks. Yeah, because they, they, like I say, 
they don't understand the reason. Away. And that's what's scary. A lot of these dudes ain't even thinking that, man. And that's the scary part about it. You would be thinking about going to do some dumb shit, but you're like, no. Nah. Now, they full fledged. They just don't give a fuck. And that's the fucked up attitude to have, but that's the mentality now. Oh, they taking, like, hell of a chance Surviving white folks snatching purses, all types. Like, you ain't getting no money no more. I don't know, purse, everybody use credit cards. Niggas ain't even thinking, you feel me? You go use their credit card, you already cut. And everybody, when they take them to the, yeah, they go, they go right to the ATM. Take them to the ATM. It's not the ATM. They go right to the ATM. Take they the take them to the They like that man at the club. They like that. They like that. This nigga, he, is he at the club or he's yeah, robbing somebody? You know what I'm saying? Got out. Hey, that damn dumb, because they don't, you don't understand this. this Thing you, direct, you in the camera doing no that, all that. Wrong. These folks, soon, you ain't get down the street. Your face already, everybody know who you is. So, Cam, tomorrow, if you had a genie lamp, you had a million dollars, whatever the case may be, what you what you would do? i will build my own community inside just like a structure, like for really just to show them that we can all make it inside. We'll move off in the middle of nowhere just to kind of the structure that every, once you see somebody able to do it, it's because life now copy, copy, paste. Cause if you see it ain't doing it, like a nigga gonna try to do it too. Like, well, damn, he made it, maybe we can do that. Hmm. But it's right there in front of us right now. All we gotta do is look at the, see what the Mexicans doing. They, we, they was they was below us when they first moved here. Now we below them. Like now we trying to get the landscaping jobs and they building all the houses, buying all the properties. And niggas don't even see it yet, no. We got too Not much yet. pride to all stay together as cuz. Like, we ain't do that shit when we was little. Everybody right. want to get their own spot and move. But they coming together now and building real structure. They supporting and they buying their own shit. Like, all the way around the board. So, it's a, like, we missing a lot of unity. We need some unity. And we got to hold each other accountable. Everybody going to do their thing. Ain't nobody perfect. We ain't saying that. But each one got to teach one. Just give them a look at him about something. Man. Just help them out. Man, just a conversation with sometimes with some of these little niggas, they are respected. But a lot of times these niggas just be like, oh, look, cuz it's fucked up, man. He out here crazy, man. He wild. Until he go kill a motherfucker yeah, and get like, locked damn, up. You know what I'm I know he was crazy. I told you he was crazy. Yeah, I told that boy, fool, man. Yeah. God damn. But you could have talked to him. You could have talked to him. Them little 10s and 20s that you're putting on his books now, you could have paid him to clean your yard and shit like that or do some simple shit like that or let him be around you in some positive way and see, like, well, damn. Cause iron shoppers iron, cause that shit like that's what they they a product of what they around all day. Cause I ain't shit in the street. Cause I don't even know why I don't even know why they selling drugs. Yeah, ain't no money. In ain't the no street. money in the streets no more unless Man, you got it. Like, I told them they ain't never lost a hundred thousand one night and then the next day made it back. They ain't making no money. When we was getting money, we, it wasn't nothing. Hundred thousand, I wasn't nothing. These boys, they. They get ten thousand now. They get a thousand well, now, <laughs> or a little school check from Alaska, hey, Texas. Hey, boy, boy, they got the money all over. Like boy, they I mean, yeah, well, I'm making what you mean. Yeah, and when we was passing thirty, forty thousand dollars back and forth, that yeah. we had the first shot by the boat. Yeah, by the boat. I was well. locked up in the feds. Niggas don't keep it real when you get locked up. Niggas don't keep it real. Seven, eight thousand. Hey, get it to do. Get it to do. They, they not doing that no more. They don't even. They don't even know the, what, what what type of money. That they, they they loyalty break about a hundred dollars, two three hundred dollars. You know what I'm man, saying? Man, a hundred, man, about twenty dollars. Yeah, <laughs> for shit real. Boss, hey, shit. man, we was actually getting money. Like, go do, go, hey, go pick, hey, low, go grab that low. It's, he dude got forty. Hey, hey, K Rock, go grab. This is this. I'm not. I'm, I'm for real. I'm not bullshitting. Like for real. This is. Hey, this is before the indictment, so we can talk about <laughs> this. This was long time ago. You yeah, know what he, he put that side note out there. Yeah, I had to. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Because we legitimately. You know they're gonna take it. You know. Oh man, they're gonna take, take this shit it. in a literal yeah. fashion that we yeah. talking about right now. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it, it gotta be us the ones that do it, cause some of the I'm gonna just call them squares or whatever we call them, cause right. like they ain't gonna be able to relate. And some of these dudes in a position to, able to help. Like, especially with some of these youth programs, y'all, what they call a middleman. Y'all need a middleman, someone that pay this man to pay rock mm -hmm. to bring his little homies in there. You still going to get that same grant money they take and us all that. Like, what, and, you, what you talking about now? They don't get it. They take us. They get it. And so we got to, that's what we got to do, moving our own direction, man. And that's one of the things. I ain't heard nobody say that, though. I've been really, doing that, that shit for a minute. Like, I've, I've, been, I've been in the midst of it. Yeah. And I've seen it from both sides because I right. come from the street. Right. But when I used to work at Plastic, it would be all these different meetings. I'm suited 
it up and tie you. I, I'm, that's what life I'm, about. I'm cold switching. That's what life about. I'm cold, you, and that's the thing. We don't know how to cold switch. No, we want to throw a gall away. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I'm going to tip to a light. I'm one of the really street niggas. No, you see me at the line. You're going to be like, dude, trip. Hey, how you doing? I'm Mr. Slater. I'm smiling. I got my suit on. It's business in here. We got to understand from business in the game. Yeah. This is your livelihood. If you don't know how to cold switch your life, you ain't gonna be able to do it. Tough. Like, but they need these program need these middlemen, or it's gonna take one of us, which I'm still working on. A program, we create our own program. We're gonna get that money. Cause yeah. really the city tired of getting them that money right. and I ain't getting no I was told that once before as well. A older a older, a older Caucasian they, woman, she told me that she never in her life, not to I'm right back to with you, to that same white woman told me she never in her life, eighty one years old. Never in the life. Where I was speaking at, I forgot it was downtown by the, uh, the Pike Mason building down there across from Simmons Bank. Uh, it was a women thing. First black person to go in there. Not women. Black women. I'm talking about speaker in, uh, in, in, in the group. But the white woman, she told me she'd never been in a room alone with a black man. <laughs> let alone spoke with one. I tell this story all the time because I love it. Uh, touched one or nothing. She hugged me and was crying. And ask him, do, do, <laughs> do I mind if she touched my hair? <laughs> I'm like, no, nah, go right ahead. She said, how hey, you going to be? I said, yeah, you know, it's all right. You know, back in the days, you know, if uh, you probably be cut, touching my hair because I was getting hung from a tree. Because, you know, <laughs> black man can touch no uh, no white woman. Yeah. She was so, uh like, on some real shit. She said, you right. <laughs> I'm, like, and this, she just 80 something. Wrote me a thousand dollar check. Damn. Uh, back to what now? Back to what you were saying. Those people are tired uh, really of the middleman because the money not trickling down to where we wanted to go. Right. Yeah. Like he's saying. Right. That, that, that's the problem. They not, I've been in these meetings. Yeah, I hear them, and that's they the problem. Them something new. That's why I said, damn, I ain't here because people but, are scared to address that. How much did they say they giving away? They said the number well, at the, on, at the, at the meeting. Tell you, uh, was it five million? Five, five, five hundred or five million. million something. Million. I think it was a five something. It was a million. It was a million. I went to see it. I went to see it. The program. You know how much the program is? That's why they had so many of those people now. But see, and then check this out. See the gate on the program? But see, see what they gave them? What? 2500 dollars $2,500. But see, <laughs> well, I make that from the, uh, the Title II funds at the schools, bro. But watch where that other money go oh, to, yeah. though. The Catholics and all these other nonprofits that's, that they, that they, that they, that they, they husbands. See, this is another that's guy. That's what we got. C3. I know y'all probably heard it enough. Yeah, they yeah, no, now, no. look, you're you, you a football player. You All those balls retired. Now, your wife been running this nonprofit the whole time. All your basketball players been writing this. I owe, I owe the government $72,000. Fuck that. I'm finna write this shit out to K Rock and wife for uh, a non profit. I don't pay the government. I pay K Rock yeah. motherfucking wife this $72,000. Guess what happens Monday morning? K Rock comes bring me $30,000. They money stay rotating. It's a tech. You, you're a millionaire. You owe, you owe these people $30,000. This man, your best friend, woman, runs a fucking 501c3, 501c3 certified uh, non-profit. Bro, you give this man his $30,000 check, you don't get the government nothing. Nothing. It's a new you finesse. Give, that, hey, hey new old finesse. finesse. Yeah, that's what I mean. <laughs> the old, old finesse. finesse. <laughs> that's what, that's, you, you give him the 30, you his guy. You his guy. Yeah. I'm right back with the, I'm right back. Here you go. Yeah. It's rotating. Guess what you finna do next? You finna go get you a truck and put uh, 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 some type of truck. And get donated to him. Tax write off. Right. No profit radio radio production all on all radio production. You 501 C three certified free promotions. Yeah. See that shit come with a lot of perks. They yeah, probably, yeah, that's they've been do. doing it forever. Yeah. They tired of the middleman. Yeah. They want direct access yeah. to us. Yeah. Yeah. But guess who's stopping? I ain't gonna say nobody names, but they, they stopping a lot of it. Damn, two minutes. It's a lot. It's a lot. Of, it's not, yeah, it is. because they comfortable getting that money. That's yeah, what we got. I didn't, I didn't know it no more. It was great money, bro. You go down there for 45 minutes, bro. Uh, title two funds in these schools, bro. 250. All you do is come down. Look, it. you can go down there and do some BS. You come up there, show them something on the uh, projector screen for 10, 15 minutes. minutes. You know what I'm saying? Say, hey, nah, 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 questions. <laughs> that's, that's what they doing. But, but what they doing is they not even telling y'all that they have those funds. Right. So where it goes now is the teachers lounge they were just telling they, that's when where they the money were saying up there, they, they got it they got the money 
But then they got so many non-profits and profit folks that's coming over because it wasn't like mm-hmm. they sir, it wasn't nothing but no, it wasn't nobody that's from the street. So the many groups trying, of, of that was there trying to get some that's, money. That's and funny. The folks like that's, they like damn we. We understand that, but we trying to find a problem with it. Y'all started trying to get, get some the money. money. Yeah. Y'all ain't trying to do nothing but get the money. Yeah. Yeah. So, so they, they asked, the they were like, why can't all, it's 20 different groups right. in the room. Yeah. Yeah. Why y'all it, 20 it, groups can't come together? They, they ain't trying to yeah. sell yeah. Nobody, nobody want to sell the money. Everybody that's got something they trying to do personally that's with that money. Trying with that to, money. That's, what, that's what I was trying to say. I was trying to bring in convicts. I'm trying to bring, I don't want, I don't, look, yeah, we going to come in there with suit and ties. Of course, that's the game. We're going to but look, I don't want your suit and ties talking about what you're supposed to be doing. I want convicts in suit and ties. These the dudes that need the money. These the motherfuckers that can't get no motherfucking job. Yeah, I don't yeah. need y'all that's already on the motherfucker. You're already being paid, yeah. number one. Now you want to come get the extra pennies too? And what they say about the felony? Remember what they were saying about the felony? Uh, you I can't don't know the felons can't get jobs and stuff, but a lot of them are saying, well, my organization, we, we hire felons. Yeah, yeah. We hire felons. But then one dude said, no, nah, I tried your organization. Y'all wouldn't even hire me. <laughs> but we're going to get with you first thing about the morning. Hey, think about when yeah. we was in a dope game. Man, I thought you was going to, hey, bro, I'm going to holler at you tomorrow. I got you tomorrow. Take care of your mom. Take care of your mom. Same game. Yeah, same, same game. game same game, game, man. Same game, so, bro. It's it's a big yeah. problem. So, man, this, this is what I think, man. This this and 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 this is what I think. This is my solution. This, yeah. I ain't saying it's the right solution. I want to I want to get all. I ain't gonna say all, but a select few other people. I like say you, you, you. Couple more people that got some respect in the streets. Yeah, I, got, I, 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 I like we were talking about uh, uh, Lee Phil. It was just short notice. Yeah. He he he's now, he was at that thing. He was the speaker. He's yeah, yeah. more. He, he's more than. But dude got like seriously got a lot of Shit. stuff. Yeah. yeah. Lee Phil got a lot of stuff on his plate, and there's a lot of personal stuff going on with mm-hmm. him that he trying to keep I down. You, you feel yeah. me? I can date it. For, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I can date it. Just for life. Just period. Just you feel me? Yeah. That's the like same way with me. I be wanting to do a lot of stuff. But I know a lot of people, they look at, you know what I'm saying, old me, mm-hmm. K-Rock. They remember, yep. you know, that's what they, yep. no matter all the stuff I've been doing all this time, they still know K-Rock. <laughs> yeah. Because K-Rock didn't let them play with it. Mm-hmm. You see what I'm saying? And mm-hmm. that's what people now, they look at it. If they can't play over you and fuck over you and treat you like any type of thing, they say fuck, fuck you. They hate right. you. Right. You know what I'm saying? I don't fuck hate. that nigga. I don't hate and I don't like that nigga. Fuck that nigga. Bring up some old shit. Yeah. Try to, you know what I'm saying? Support. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. The and fact. more they support me, the more I can get out here and deal with my people mm-hmm. and young cats. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Talk to them just like the little dude I was telling y'all about. I could have gave him $50. What do you mean? Or I could have gave him Yeah, like, bro, you know what I'm saying? Let me do something for you so you can just get, you know what I'm saying? Because I talked to him. And it hurt my feelings that dude when he got himself messed up because I know his mama. And his dad, his dad already in and out the pen. You know, I know them. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, they just don't understand that if, when you can talk to these cats, and like I said, their attention span ain't number like that. Right. But if you can talk to them and sit there, the dude will say, that you, you sure right, big homie, man. Uh, this and that and this and that. He said, man, man, I, man, I sure hate to get this $5 from because I do need to get a job. I'm like, nah, I ain't going to, I don't want you to feel bad. I want you to take this money. Mm-hmm. If you got to get on this bus and go down to McDonald's and fill out an application, I can't hire you right now. You know what I'm saying? But these folks down there hire. If you go put in an application. If you don't put on an application, then they ain't finna just call you. These, right. these young niggas, they think shit's just gonna fall out the sky. Instagram. Oh, I'm finna. Shit. Boy, I just dropped my mixtape shit. Nigga, <laughs> he gonna call. He, man, God, I've been out here 20 years. We ain't got but one record. This, right. You know what I'm saying? That shit. And we still fighting. And we still so fighting. Right yeah. Shit, you got all this going on. I just be wondering where all these fairy tales in their mind be coming from because. Ain't if nobody giving them the game. When you give it to them. It's only a few. Like I say, it's a select few. Right. We do, we are lacking as OGs and stuff like that. I talk to them, they talk to them, you know what I'm saying? But, like I said, we got to do some hands-on. Bro, we do need help. We need the help Definitely. from yeah, the right. people. The resources that we have. Money right. that we can go just like Big Red was down there. Correct. He was down there. He, he told me and him and the mayor talk. Like, man, let's rap a band. Right. And like I say, me, you, and them jump out. Talk to the folks. That's something new. Them posted, man. We, 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 we get in a van built right now. Off of, off of one of his ideas I stole from him. You probably forget about it. We get we get in a van putting the, the barbers in there. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, so when we barbers, pull up, man. you know, when we pull up, same just think, man, come get your hair cut, man. Yeah. 
that's a neutral thing. We all that's 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 something everybody got it. Well, another thing we all got in common, we all represent something. Yeah. Uh, I mean, regardless yeah. of you know what I'm saying, what, yeah. what side, what color, yeah. we all represent some some camaraderie. Everybody know how to be loyal. Yeah. Us real motherfuckers. It, it, even them at some point when you join where you from, you had to be loyal at that one right. point right then to that one particular set. But like he said. We 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 gotta we gotta do some mashing, man. Yeah, that's it, it, the, I, I mashing, think you know what I'm saying. The 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 rap community, it's a lot of people in the rap community that has influence, right. and fuck with people that has influence. Right. And I think that we need to be the face. And that's what it's gonna take the streets. You know what I'm saying? The streets. The streets gonna say that's the streets. It. You know what I'm saying? What be. And we just gotta motherfucking just mash, like you just said, mash on it and go out here and put some, right. put forth some initiative, some mm-hmm. effort. Reach out, touch some motherfuckers, talk to some motherfuckers, right. each Thanks. one, teach one, and shit, we gon' re- even if we say one right. motherfucker, right. we did that. Yeah. We did that. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. Our job. Right. Even if we split, we, if it's a hundred motherfuckers within this, a hundred motherfuckers probably can save a hundred motherfuckers. That's a ratio. Yeah. 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 That's real. Yeah. Yeah. You feel what I'm saying? So I, I believe in, I got hope. I didn't have no hope when I went to that meeting. I was like, man, that shit. What does it mean? I, I, I'm, y'all missing What was the name of that shit? It's gonna be uh, Victor Violence. Victor they Violence. A walk. They having a walk, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, what they this weekend, uh, it was at Central in the Central. library. Yeah, okay. yeah, about what a month ago. But like everybody that had me, those people was we there. Was, was nah, somebody that was saying? Bro, me and Rock was the young, was like the, the young so y'all was the only people that represented. Everybody else was, was that like news? These groups, the old people that were over these. Yeah. Non profit organizational groups. Yeah. The new uh, 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 people walking uh, around sleep. Lethal was the, the life. How you say his name? Lethal. He, he was, was there. People say Lethal, but it's Lethal. Go ahead. He was like one of the. It was four panel people. He was one. The mayor was one. The lady that's over the news was one. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Then there was people in the audience. It was like a dude that had just got locked up. But he was talking about the same shit you was talking about, like. The, the the he just got out of the joint. And, like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like so it was a couple of people that like that, but and it was the one lady that jumped up. She was mad about like all these organizations and and this and that. So it was some passionate people that sprinkled out within the yeah. audience too. Yeah. But all these resources in the room and none of them are working together. Back to the point where we were saying it's about the divide. Those people that though, like I said, I didn't want to say any names from the beginning. But a couple of people, like that's how that's how the universe works. It come back full circle. A couple of those people. Bro, they, 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 they're put in place, just like we talking about the propaganda television. They're put in place to make it put the, the, the it seems like everything okay. Everything's okay. That's why the bread ain't getting spread out between the guys like us no more. We accountable. If they hear about you, they got $70,000 for their hood, they want to see what the fuck they If they hear about you, they got 150 for the law, they want to know. I done got a quota for Central. I, I, they want to know. Yeah. The people who got the bread know that. Those guys that you naming, are those meaty in the in betweens yeah. who don't need to be there? And, and they ain't checking their pockets and see where the money went. That's why they know they get the money. They That's why they don't can ass like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's why they don't can Richardson ass like that. You know what I'm saying? I commend them. You know what I'm saying? Not nothing personal, but I commend them on everything you're doing because he put like like Malcolm did not to that extent, but shit, if you lose your job now, yeah, you did. You can't take care of your family, like real men, yeah. anyway. But we were dead in the junk. Because when you're in the junk, you got people sending you money. You, hmm. you ain't got no responsibility. But anyway, that's why I commend him for what he's doing, bro. Because people like Pop, Malcolm X, the Garveys, and all the rest of these people were, 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 were uh, they, they, they were just fucked up all the way around for standing up for who they was. Uh. See what I'm saying? And that's what he get now. Because they sell liquor legally across the thing. But these dudes pissing dirty for cocaine, you leaving them back down the board. Mm-hmm. I know this personal, you know what I'm saying? But you want to be on my guy because he doing something for the 12th era that he with. Yeah. Dude, call me on, on, on some real like shit, man. Like, what you think about this, bro? Not going to work. <laughs> Not going to work. I really want to distract them. I really want to put motherfuckers on, uh, on some, uh, give them some game, the same game that we've been talking about. Yeah. yeah. Let's put them on some game on how to be some entrepreneurs. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's one thing I learned about hustling. I said hustling. Yeah. You, that's the yeah, same shit. It's, 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 it's the same. Like, you hey, got to take care of your people. You got to right. right. take care of your people. Right. Right. Respect them. Man, that's why I said numbers, that. Numbers, the, numbers, numbers, numbers. Same, same hustle, different subjects. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm still getting 5, 10, 15s, and 20s. Right. <laughs> I was doing this yeah. 5, 10, 15, yeah. 20 a plate. And I sleep comfortable at night. I used to sleep with the couch in front of my door. Right. Right. Yeah. I knew a nigga was coming so right. later because I was, we was taking yeah. shit up on right. nigga. All down, Chico. I don't know. It was crazy. 
That's what you know in there. But once you find out, man, they tricked us the whole motherfucking mm-hmm. time. And like, beginning. once you stand who you are as a king or what you really, now you ain't come from no slave shit. Mm-hmm. You came from a king. Yeah. You came from a- Africa. Africa. Yeah. Massa Musa, mm-hmm. the richest the man richest ever. Man. Yeah. Fuck Donald the Trump, deal. fuck nobody. No man, all Musa. together. Richest man ever. The man used to pass out money. I'm going to get money I'm out a, and break the whole economic system. Fuck up the economic system. And break the whole system. economic system. And guess what? He got Jerry I because that's where we come from. Right, that's yeah. why I'm that, like, But we don't know that. Yeah. When I found that, I'm like, damn, let me read some. Right. This is why I like you got to start this. Like this. Like this. this is what. Okay. Oh, that's why they stay on board. board. You stop feeling oh, okay. That's why they don't want me with no white girl because if we meet, she make black. Not right. she, you, you can't go back them. white. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. not the minority. Yeah. They the minority. Five percent of the world is white. They didn't trick us. They didn't trick us. They didn't trick us. Once you learn that type of guy, you're like, shit, hold on. Fuck this slave shit and what they taught us in school. And then you got to think about like, oh, a, like you saying about the slave, about right. the slave. You a king, you a king, I'm a king, you a king. That. Say, they didn't come take shit. Right. Yeah. We we didn't know that they was treating our slaves like that. Yeah, you got 60 dudes that owe you, they in debt, you know what I'm saying? But you, you still feed them regularly, you water them regularly, and you're not beating them. Now, if you fuck up, your time is being stretched. It's more powerful for us to keep you healthy working. See, when the crackers came, excuse me, damn. <laughs> <laughs> when the Dutch first... Uh, the Portuguese, then the Spanish came last. You know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, what they did, they came with all type of shit right. that we ain't seen before. If you, if I can point a stick at you and smoke come from it and Umbaba die, yeah. you a god. Yeah. You just pointed a stick at Umbaba, yeah. smoke came out like lightning, and you died. Yeah. You know they always wor- they was already worshiping the, uh, the, the gods. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So now when they do that, then they show you a picture. The white man, blue eyes, Praise the him. blonde Praise hair. Him. Guess who he looked like? That white man who just <laughs> shot him, yeah. bye-bye. No, he was the guy, so too. For, yeah. even, even to this day, gangsters look at a white man and it kind of turn their head. Yeah. You feel me? Even to well, this day. you well, know who you is. When well, you know who he is, it's, it, 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 not, uh, damn, man, not, not digress from the point. They didn't take shit. What they did was, you had slaves, you had slaves, you had slaves. Slave. And you, we sold them. We traded them. We oh, traded oh, them off. Oh, they didn't take anything. What, 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 when uh, Queen uh, Tutu found out what was happening, a uh, mulatto from, uh, you know, we purchased, uh, well, when I say it, because I am an American, we, when we purchased uh, uh, Louisiana from the French, yeah. you know what I'm saying? You know, those people was rich down there. That's why, you know, the house niggas were, were higher complected, you know, because they were just slave masters' kids. That's why the number one killer of all slaves was the white woman. They killed more slaves than anybody in history was the white woman. Nope. Yeah, they knew. Mm-hmm. Hey, but anyway. Uh, uh, uh. The slave, the, the, the selling part, the trading. They didn't take anything. So I hate when people say they came over and took something from us. It gave us a sense of being inferior that right. you came on our land right. and you took something. Now, K Rock had 150 slaves to spare. So what he did, he traded those 150 slaves for these sticks that got smoke coming out of them that right. killed people like Umbaba. We want to be more like the gods. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And that was those guys. That's why they called them the, the, the pale faces and the shit. But they never took anything. Right. But if they, like you like you said, re, let's reiterate on the fact of, of your subject matter was, uh, uh, they stuck at the slavery part. Yeah. They we, wiped you up. Gotta get, you gotta so get if you only tell them people that's the only thing they come from, if they just do this much, they feel like they achieved some shit. Right. Graduate. You graduated. So fucking graduate. They've what? been teaching you the same shit since sixth grade to twelfth grade. And when do you use fucking cursive writing beside your signature? Yeah. Take that shit out of school. <laughs> take that shit. You wasting time. There's a whole bunch of shit they can take out of school. Man, look, man. All that shit. If you're not gonna be no motherfucking uh biochemist, fucking take algebra. You made the show <laughs> that we fucked this up. School in modern day slavery. They didn't teach you how to balance. Who you feel like? That's what I need to know about. You feel me? That's what I need to know about. None. They didn't know the taxes. I don't even know nothing about that. That's it. Like, just the basics. Yeah. Like, 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 hey, man, look here. It's the real underground, man, industry radio. Yeah, Shout out yeah. to everybody who's been tuning in tonight, man. Shout out to everybody who's still tuning in out live, man. Yeah. DJ Ant, man. I know y'all was trying to call in earlier, yeah, man. But my football coach. Shout out to Big Ant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he be tuning in fooling with us all the time, yeah, man. Look like your ass. David Adler, oh, Nisa, <laughs> uh, Jessica, <laughs> man. Shout out to everybody who be fooling with us on the live, the real uh, underground. What? Hey, man, check it out. Every Wednesday, man, industry radio. Uh, every Wednesday, we finna get on this movement. I don't know what we're gonna call this movement. It ain't even gotta have a name. I just know 
we back you know, change. You know what I'm saying? Save the streets. Save the streets. Save the streets. Definitely Save shout out to you, bro, for taking that initiative and bringing it together. Hey, man, I can make dice. Right. I can make dice. You know what I'm saying? I do that. I don't just do it. I did it with the right game. People like he was shooting like the real. You gonna be on here? Hey, you know what I'm saying? Ten o'clock for sure. You hear me? I said, "Oh, okay." Why you going at ten o'clock? I gotta go up there. Hey, hey, I fuck with y'all boys. I appreciate y'all for, for, for taking time out y'all schedule to start this dialogue, man. So we, we, we stay tuned for whatever is gonna happen. We don't know, but we definitely is in motion. Right. Something if we say uh, uh, reach one person, right. shit, one we person did our job. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. stay tuned, man. If y'all wanna be a part of it, man, everybody's welcome to help. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what's next, but just stay tuned, man. It's the real underground. Y'all fool with us if you cool with us, man. We out to this thing.